Hello, and welcome to Coco for Disney. I'm so glad you're back for part two of the Jim Shore showing for Halloween. Um, if you have not been here before, my name is Coco, and I show all things Disney. And today I'm showing my second part of my Jim Shore Halloween figurines. I think I mentioned in the last video, if you got to watch part one, um, I'll show you. <laughs> we have Jim Shore's Headless Horseman and a Ichabod Crane. We have this, I can move out of the way here. This is the Tower of Fright, the villain, the villain t um, castle. And then we had Mickey as Frankenstein. And then on this side, we had my girl Maleficent as the Candy Curse. So I think I mentioned that there were there is a character that I was not that involved with, um, didn't really care too much for him, but one Jim Shore changed my perception on this character. It's amazing, like I've said before, what art can do. So I'm gonna show you. Sorry, messed that up. <laughs> Almost messed up. This piece. Is amazing in color. Just amazing. And I love it so much. I, I love it so much that this changed my whole perception on this character and I just love him. This is called Stitch a Lantern. Look at that color. The little blue stitch with his pink ears against the background of that orange pumpkin. I could not resist. I just saw that and I just thought, oh, he is amazing. His big eyes, his nose, I just fell in love with him. And Jim Shore's artwork, the top of that pumpkin, the carving of the leaves, the fleur de lis, de lis. <laughs> sections of this pumpkin. Jim Shore has put his artwork, his stamp on that. But oh my gosh, he's just, that blue comes around with that orange. He is just a big pop of color. I don't know how anyone can miss him if you don't see him. I'd seen him in, a, I believe, a Hallmark shop, I believe. I didn't get him there. I got him on Pink Alamode. But he has started me off. The, the way he just shows up and the color, Jim Shore just added those colors and he's so beautiful, so fun. Him back here in the back. So I couldn't stop there with Stitch. <laughs> um, not that that wasn't, that was probably the only piece I thought I was gonna get. And then they came out with a, another one. And I think this was the next year or it could have been the same year. They came out with this one and I didn't think they could do any better on the color. That uh, he couldn't pop, oh, how that sound? That he couldn't pop in color any more than he already had. So again, it is another stitch. <laughs> you think he looks good in orange. What do you think about the red? Look how awesome he is. <laughs> A little devil. Look at the artwork that Jim is, look at this. Look at the pumpkin on the bottom. Look at his little devil suit. Again, accentuating that blue against Stitch. The colors he chose for this, for Stitch. It's his tail. Just another colorful pop, which I could not pass up. He's just so darn cute. 
I thought orange looked good on him, but look at that red. Done so well with the little spike ends of the spike there. Oh, just so cute. Let's see, where are we gonna put you? We'll put you back here with your stitch. <laughs> Now they didn't stop there. <laughs> it's so fun to see um, a lot lounge fly. You can't get enough stitch Halloween. I think that um, there was two or three bags this Halloween. I think the one of the Halloween ones, which I would consider Halloween, was on the SDCC San Diego Comic Con. Um, it was the first one to sell out, and it was stitch as a skeleton. Um, so there's so many bags out there with stitch, but these gem shores are amazing and I have to have them. I believe there's one that I, one or two that I am missing as far as the Halloween goes, but I love the movie Pirates of the Caribbean. And uh, they just made me adore stitch even more. <laughs> oh, look at him, he's dressed as a pirate. There's the pumpkin right next to him, that little Again, you have the orange and you have the red with his little scarf over his head. His little sword, he's holding it up. Now, I consider this a Halloween piece because he's in a costume. So, I don't know whether it's considered a Halloween piece or not. You'll have to let me know in the comments below. Even the back of his, look at that, all that carving, that etching, and that hat. His little ear, look at the ears. Just so cute. He's so cute. I just love him now. We'll put you back here with the rest of the stitches. How does that all look right there? Look together okay? <laughs> just a fun character for Halloween. Just love him. I do have one more piece coming. I got a little notice that it may not make it in for Halloween, so I wanted to go ahead and show the stitches because I think they're so cute and so colorful. But I don't know whether Mickey's Mickey's going to have as many this year. Hopefully by next year he'll have. She'll be there. So, yeah. So thanks once again coming by and letting me share um, my Jim Shore Halloween figurines with you. If Minnie comes in, I'll make sure that I share her as well. But this is... Um, this is the Halloween decorations that you were a part of. So thank you so much. I'm gonna um, do a few close-ups of the pins. But meanwhile, I just wanted to say how I appreciate you so much. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween season. Do you get to do the boo bags on the doorsteps? Do you do that? Um, I'm hoping to do that this year with my um, grandchildren. But I hope you enjoy Halloween, however you celebrate it or whatever you might do. Um, enjoy this autumn season, the harvest season, and I know we do that in the Midwest quite a bit. So I just appreciate you being here and um, letting me share all of this with you. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for continuing to support Coco for Disney. If you like this video, pr please press that like button. <laughs> and if you want to see more content, please press the subscribe button. And so for more um, Coco for Disney content coming out, I just, again, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back again and again. I love conversing with some of you over and over again. It's so much fun. I love seeing your channels. They're amazing. Um, I'm nonstop YouTube with the Disney community watching everybody. So it's so much fun. So thank you again. I hope you have a great day, a great week, a great month. And as they say in the parks, have a magical day. Bye now.